I'm Catherine Boyle, president of Autism Housing Pathways. A two bedroom accessory apartment attached to the family home is one of the most affordable options for owning property. It also allows individuals and their families to simultaneously tap into two major programs, Section 8 and adult foster care. Section 8 allows individuals to pay 30% of their income in rent, with the rest paid to the landlord with funds from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Normally, the holder of a Section 8 voucher is not allowed to rent from a family member, but in the case of a person with a disability, it is considered a reasonable accommodation. However, the individual must live in a separate unit from the landlord. Adult foster care is a program of mass health that pays a stipend to a support provider to live with a person with a disability. The provider must live in the same unit as the person. Depending upon the individual's needs, the person may also be able to get some additional individual support hours from the Department of Developmental Services to work on skill building although DDS dollars may not be used to duplicate the care paid for through adult foster care. The wait for a Section 8 voucher can be up to 10 years. While waiting, a family member who is not a guardian can act as an adult family care provider, saving the stipend to cover some of the costs of adding on the accessory unit. A further way to cover costs is through the state's Home Modification Loan Program, which allows owner-occupier households to borrow up to $50,000 for the purpose of adding on an accessory dwelling unit, or ADU, for a person with a disability. For qualifying households, the loan is 0% interest, with all payment deferred until title to the property changes. This arrangement not only allows individuals to tap into multiple funding sources, it permits the individual to stay in their home when the AFC support provider decides to move on. The house may also be left to a special needs trust, creating a permanent housing option. The biggest drawback to this model is zoning. While there are families already using this model, it could be made accessible to many more if zoning were addressed on the state or local level. Governor Healy's Affordable Homes Act, currently in conference committee, would permit ADUs as a by-right use.